It came today, my super shelter for the Hennessy Explorer Ultralight ASIM. And I promised the folks on hammockforums.net that I would do an installation video to help explain how this goes together. Now, this could be interesting because this is my first time to try and put this together. So, we'll see what happens. This is the main shell of the super shelter. This is the undercover. And it's got all sorts of uh, stuff on it. Um, it's got elastic cords. It's got loops. It's got all sorts of interesting stuff. One of the things that I figured out real quick is you don't want to mess around with this too much because it's real easy to get it turned inside out. When it came out of the package, all of this taping was visible. Now, if you get that turned inside out, my guess is that you're going to have some problems. But I don't know for sure. The first step is to find the doorway. And this is the slit, the bottom slit opening, so that would make this the foot end. And according to the directions, thread the, install, thread the suspension ropes through the small holes at each end of the undercover, positioning the undercover entrance at the same end as the hammock entrance. Then retie the ropes. Okay. Now I've replaced, I've put uh, ring buckles on my suspension ropes and but I, I, I haven't cut the I haven't cut the ropes yet, so the ring buckles should go through the opening in the super shelter. It looks like it's big enough. But down here at the foot end, I guess I've gotta play around with it a little bit. All right, here we go. There's one end on. And here's the hammock door, which is lined up with the super shelter slit. So now we'll move down to the other end. There is the head end of the super shelter put in. So now we'll rehang it and see We've what got we get. the ring buckle set up temporarily. It doesn't have the uh, doesn't have the half hitch on it. And we come down the ring buckle to the um, fly hook which is where the elastic from the super shelter 
gets hooked. And there's the super shelter on the hammock. And it's described as having the black binding go around the top opening. And there is a loop of elastic right here, which tightens up the elastic shock cord in the top hem here. And come back, the side tie outs come out through the super shelter, through the undercover. Back to the head end of the hammock, where again everything goes through the little tunnels out to an elastic which is hooked on to the tarp prussics which is attached at the ring buckle. Now it looks to me like that is installed properly. Everything lines up the way it should. So we'll take a look at putting the uh, pad in. Pad, the open cell foam pad has a narrow end and a wide end. And judging from the placement of the elastic loops on the side for the tie-out lines, the narrow end would go to the feet and the wider end would go to the head, leaving the waffle side up and the smooth side down toward the hammock bottom. Now there's a seam that runs diagonally from one tie-out loop over to the other tie-out loop. So that should be following the normal diagonal of the hammock. Let's put this baby in there and hey, see you what we get. See the pad in the hammock, in the in the undercover, under the hammock. The line attachments line up. Looks kind of bunchy right now, but some of that may be that it, excuse me, some of that may be that it's hung inside and uh, we really need to get it out and hang it up properly. So, I think what we're going to do right now is exactly that. It was a little bit cold out to go out and play around, but I think now that we've got it set up, and that's the best thing to do so we can put some weight on it because obviously the uh, attachments to the wall are not weight bearing.